Hey, it's Mindy. Thank you for joining me on this windy, blustery day. Yeah, it's very windy here. Cold and windy and ugh. All right, so we're going to make something pretty simple, I think. Um, it's called apple pie bread. Apple pie bread. All right, so I think this is pretty easy. I got some things prepared already. So you start with a yellow cake mix. I got sugar-free. I figured I didn't need that extra sugar. So I got sugar-free. So we start with the cake mix. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to use this. It's got some apple pie filling on it. It's all right. We'll talk about the apple pie filling here in a minute. So yellow, look, I'm making a mess. It's going everywhere. Uh -huh. Yellow cake mix. Okay, yellow cake mix. Went everywhere. Okay. Next thing you need is you need self-rising flour. Now, I know that might be a little weird ingredient for some people to have, but I happen to have self-rising flour. I've used it on other... Ooh, it's going everywhere. So let's do this. There. Let's do that. I've used it in some other recipes before, so I just happen to have a small bag of it on hand, okay? Now, you only need a cup, one cup of the self-rising flour. All right, so we're gonna add a cup of this to our cake mix. Let's see, how's that look? It looks good, let's see. Uh, look, look at that. I got a cup. <laughs> All right, so we add that. Then it says just sift those together. All right, sift them together. There we go. Okay, add our flour to our cake mix. I'm not sifting with any fancy sifter or anything like that. I'm just mixing them up. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. All right, then it says to add the wet ingredients. The wet ingredients would be our eggs, and our apple pie filling. Now, the apple pie filling, when it comes out of the can, I just took this knife and I just kind of cut it up as it was coming out of the can. So you mince it up really good. Just mince it up into little pieces, all right? You don't want great big huge hunks. So that's considered a liquid we're going to add to our dry ingredients, okay? So there we go. And then it calls for four, four eggs. Well, you know me, I like my duck eggs. So we're gonna use duck eggs. Gotta really bang those puppies, right? <laughs> Remember I told you they got really hard shells. <laughs> so this will be, and they're really, really, really runny, <laughs> like stringy, <laughs> the, the white. <laughs> All right, there's one. And I'm just throwing this all together. I'm not doing anything special. I'm gonna put all of these oh, nice, nice, thick, <laughs> thick white. <laughs> all right, there's two. Here's the third one. They're really hard to crack too. Gotta love a good duck egg. Just sold seven duck eggs yesterday. Yeah. Got our regular customer. We just, he'll take all of our duck eggs. So we just, I used to put them on Facebook Marketplace and try to get people to buy them that way. But this guy, he's just like, just call me when you have more. <laughs> so we just call him. All right. So can you see it? Look, we got eggs, we got pie filling, and then we have all of those dry ingredients in the bottom. So we're just going to mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Now this makes two loaves of bread. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. And that's all the liquid is supposed to take is the pie filling and the eggs, which I thought was weird. I'm like, how is that gonna be enough liquid? Let's bust up that yolk. How will this be enough liquid to make a nice bread mixture? But Four eggs, that's a lot of eggs. A lot of white, especially using those duck eggs, they're larger, right? 
So we just mix and mix and mix. It's getting pretty moist. I don't know if you can see it, but it really is pretty moist. And I'm getting most of the, mm, it smells like cake. <laughs> you can smell the yellow cake for sure. All right, chunky, chunky dough because of the um, pie filling. I guess you can, you can chop it up as much as you want or as little as you want. Same thing like when you make banana bread. If you really mush up your bananas, you get a really smoother bread. If you like it a little chunkier, you, you know, leave some chunks in it. It's all up to you. Then, there you go, it's kind of mixed up already. There might be a little bit in the bottom. There we go. Then it calls for one apple, not a large apple. It says a medium apple, okay? A medium apple chopped up. So I have one medium apple here chopped up. I think it's a yellow delicious. It didn't say what kind. Use your favorite apple. Throw it in there. It's like adding chips or something to, you know, your banana bread. or Just a little extra something here. All right, so there's that and there's that. And then stir it all up really good. Get those apple chunks. I cut my apple chunks up pretty small. They're, they're pretty small chunks. I didn't want great big chunks. So there we go. It's all mixed up. Mix, 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 mix. It's all mixed up. That's what it looks like. Chunky apple, brown apple from the pie filling. All right. Now it makes two loaves. Oh, I got some more, found some more mix over here in this corner. That's okay. If you find some more mix, even if you get to the bottom and you still have some dry ingredients, just scoop them in with the last little bit. Hey, did you hear that? My oven's ready. <laughs> yeah, we need a new oven. It doesn't like to light anymore. I don't know. One of the burners doesn't either, so. All right, there we go. I'm going to spray these up. Oh, and then um, I'm going to spray them up with my spray. Just use some spray. I'm going to spray them up and put that in there. And then sprinkle it. Just sprinkle it with some cinnamon on the top. That's what it says. Just sprinkle some cinnamon on the top after it's in the pans. All right. I'll come back in a minute and show you what that all looks like. All right, so they're in the pan, and here is, here is a tool I would recommend everybody own is a spatula, because when you're trying to get this mix out of this bowl, the spatula will really, really help you get it all out. Spatula, you have to have a spatula. All right, now the other thing that we do is says sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Okay, so we're just gonna sprinkle a little cinnamon. I don't like it real, real cinnamony, so I'm just gonna do a light little cinnamon. There we go. That's probably enough. There's that one. Can you see it? Can you smell it? <laughs> it smells really good. This is totally smelling like an apple pie, let me tell you what. So we put a little cinnamon sprinkle on the top of each loaf, and then it says to sprinkle a little sugar. All right, so I got my sugar out, and it says just sprinkle a little sugar. So we're just gonna sprinkle just a bit. We don't need a ton, right? Okay. And a little sugar here. It's going to make it give, have a nice little coating on the top, you know, a little crispness. Because this sugar is going to, you know, do what sugar does. <laughs> Melt something, crisp up. Yeah, it'll be good. All right. So I really didn't make much of a mess either. Look, there's my dirty dishes. Here's my that, and I have a bowl. All right. I'm done. Pretty easy. Now you need to bake it for 35 to 45 minutes at 325. You hear that? 325. Not 350. Normally I bake things, it's 350. But this one calls for 325, 35 to 45 minutes. Well, that's a long range. That's 10 minutes, right? So I'm going to set it for 35 minutes and I'm going to check it. And with any good bread, you know, it should start to set up and not be jiggly and whatnot. So we'll come back. Uh, and we'll show you how it turns out. Fresh out of the oven. Look at that cinnamon on the top. Look at it cracked in the middle. It has like a little crater in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> but here's the other one too. That one did it a little bit, but not as bad. But 
Mmm, it smells so good. You guys, it smells so good. Uh, I can hardly wait to try this. I'm going to put dinner in the oven in a minute. And we'll have some of this with dinner. My husband will be like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. Apple pie bread. Hmm. I'll let you know how it tastes later, okay? There you go. Super easy.